Hi, it's Katrina. From new discoveries on Mars to solving mysteries in the depths of space, here are nine recent discoveries made by NASA. Number 9. Water on Mars Many books, TV shows, and movies have fantasized about colonizing the planet Mars. The only problem is that Mars is not a place that can sustain life in its current state, and just as bad, it does not have any water. Or so we thought. In 2018, scans from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered that formations on the planet were actually caused by water that is still there right now. This was a confirmation based on a finding of hydrated salts on certain slopes of the planet. John Grunsfeld, astronaut and associate administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington, said that our quest on Mars has been to follow the water in our search for life in the universe. Now they finally have the science to back up what they have long suspected. There is briny water flowing on the surface of Mars. This discovery changes very much what we think of the planet. If it does have the capacity for water in its current state, this means that colonization of the planet is not only an option, it could be adapted to be habitable. Not that I want to run and live there, but I know some people are excited about the idea. It took multiple spacecraft over several years to solve this mystery, and now we know there is liquid water on the surface of this cold desert planet, said Michael Meyer, lead scientist for NASA's Mars Exploration Program at the agency's headquarters. It seems that the more we study Mars, the more we learn how life could be supported and where there are resources to support life in the future. Are you excited? Number 8. Multiple Earths In February 2017, NASA discovered that there might be seven Earth-like planets orbiting a dwarf star called TRAPPIST-1. In fact, all seven of these planets were found in the same galaxy, which is a very rare thing indeed. As you know, our Earth is a very special place. It has an atmosphere that has oxygen, amongst other gases, and thus allows life to breathe and grow. It is orbiting a sun that doesn't bombard our planet with too much heat or radiation, nor does it give too little. We are in the perfect Goldilocks zone. Finding another planet that is like Earth is actually extremely hard, as these conditions are very specific. So to find seven that could possibly have similar conditions to ours is quite the breakthrough. Not only that, they are about the same size as Earth, and some of them, based on pictures and scans, do appear to have water. Should this be true, and should we be able to reach them, there could be life on these planets, or could be a major colonization option for Earth. You know, because that's what everyone really wants to hear. If this water is like our own, it is reasonable to expect that there be life in the water, and it gives a much higher chance that that is the place where the first life outside of Earth might be discovered. Number 7. Liquid on Titan Saturn has 53 moons that have been named by scientists, and more could actually be named in the future. One of the most popular of these moons is the one known as Titan. It's been the source of much research and has even been home to an alien race in the Marvel Comics universe. During a scan by the Cassini space probe of NASA, they found that in certain gorges and canyons of Titan, there are actually pools of liquid, specifically hydrocarbons. This find is important because at first, scientists didn't know what was in these canyons. NASA reports that the branching channels appear dark in radar images, much like Titan's methane-rich seas. Previously, it wasn't clear if the dark material was liquid or merely saturated sediment. As for how they got there, many speculate that it is actually the same way the Grand Canyon was formed in the United States, meaning that they think that there is an underground river on Titan somewhere, and it eroded the ground until it formed these massive canyons, and then filled them with liquid. Alex Hayes, co-author of the study, said in a statement that Earth is warm and rocky with rivers of water, while Titan is cold and icy with rivers of methane, and yet it's remarkable that we find such similar features on both worlds. Pretty cool, right? Number 6. Comet Soup In 2005, NASA sent their Deep Impact spacecraft into a comet called Temple 1. If you're curious as to why they would destroy one of their craft by crashing it into a comet on purpose, it is because they wanted to analyze the content and particles that were released from the impact. Scans from the craft before crashing, mixed with observations from the Spitzer telescope, revealed that many of the ingredients were already known common ingredients, such as silicates and sand. But some things like clay, carbonates, iron-bearing compounds, and aromatic hydrocarbons were quite the surprise since these things are found on Earth in barbecue pits and car exhaust. These ingredients form the basis of what is known as comet soup. 
It is the hope of NASA that by studying these ingredients and getting more samples that they can figure out more about how our solar system was formed. Number 5. Death of Saturn's Rings The rings of Saturn are not only the most defining features of the planet, but also one of the most recognizable things in all of our solar system. Strangely enough, NASA speculates that the rings are dying. More accurately, NASA states that the rings are losing the moisture in the rocks that form the rings. The moisture itself is being pulled into the planet due to gravity, and thus the rings are slowly but surely breaking down. James O'Donohue, a space physicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said that we are lucky to be around to see Saturn's ring system, which appears to be in the middle of its lifetime. An interesting point he makes is that if rings are temporary, perhaps we just missed out on seeing giant ring systems of Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, which have only thin ringlets today. Maybe all of the gas giants had them at one point. As for when the rings of Saturn will truly disappear, it is believed it will take another 300 million years. But NASA has also stated it could happen much faster depending on how fast the moisture continues to be drained from the rocks. But eventually, it's going to happen. Number 4. Jupiter's Orbit NASA has long tried to get a spacecraft into Jupiter's orbit, but because of conditions in the planet's atmosphere, it's been a very difficult task. Not to mention, getting a craft near the planet in terms of its position in space is also hard. Yet on July 4, 2016, the Juno became the first spacecraft to make it into Jupiter's orbit, which by NASA's own admission was one of the hardest things they've ever done. The Juno is a solar-powered spacecraft, and it was sent to Jupiter to learn more about the planet through pictures, videos, and scans. Already, it has sent back video of storms taking place on the planet's surface, as well as a volcanic eruption happening on the nearby moon of Io. Number 3. Supermassive Black Hole The Hubble Space Telescope is one of NASA's biggest tools in regards to searching deep space for new discoveries, and in February of 2016, the telescope took a picture of a galaxy and found a black hole of astonishing size. This was found in galaxy NGC 4889 in what is known as the Coma Cluster. The black hole in question is 21 billion times the mass of the Sun in our own galaxy. To those who don't recall, black holes are a pocket of space where the gravity is so intense that nothing escapes it, not even light. Anyone or anything that is caught in this gravitational field is instantly stretched beyond recognition into spaghetti. Maybe. It's just a theory. To find a black hole of this size in a singular galaxy is something few ever expected. Just as unexpected, though, is that this particular black hole doesn't seem to be feeding anymore, meaning it isn't drawing in matter that surrounded it like it used to. This is quite rare and may offer proof that black holes can evolve over time. Maybe at some point they shut down, offering another sliver of information to help us learn more about black holes. Number 2. Ice Volcanoes on Earth, volcanoes spew fire, ash, soot, and smoke. But on the dwarf planet, a planet that never matured to full size, called Ceres, the volcanoes shoot ice. This was discovered by NASA via their Dawn spacecraft in 2015, which was observing Ceres, which orbits between Mars and Jupiter. The technical term for these are cryovolcanoes, because instead of fire and ash, they could potentially shoot out ice and mud. This is based on the fact that Ceres is covered with ice both above and below its surface. To that end, should these structures erupt, the only thing it can shoot is ice. Ralph Jaman of the German Aerospace Center says the members of the Dawn science team expected a lot of things, but not what we finally got. He says, I was completely surprised, and completely means completely. Though obviously unproven in terms of eruption aspect of the cryovolcanoes, it does make sense given that the temperatures in the craters of Ceres can reach 350 degrees below zero. But how would an ice volcano form? And what would cause it to shoot ice? Fun fact, the discovery via the Dawn spacecraft was actually the first time Ceres had even been explored by such a device. Number 1. Reaching Ultima Thule Four billion miles away from Earth, there is an object known as Ultima Thule. This celestial body is actually two round objects made of an unknown composition that are actually fused together. NASA has released the first up-close stereo images of the celestial body via the New Horizons spacecraft, making this the most distant object that a spacecraft from Earth has ever explored. The New Horizons spacecraft was able to get within 2,200 miles of the mysterious body, and through its scans and pictures, were able to find some very interesting information about the formation. 
First, both lobes of Ultima Thule were similar in shape and in color, inferring that this was actually formed from the same source. Despite the object being 21 miles at max length, it does not have an atmosphere, nor is its gravitational force strong enough to pull in other objects. Ultima Thule resides in what is known as the Kuiper Belt, also known as the Twilight Zone, and the New Horizons spacecraft is not only very deep into it now, but it'll continue to explore it and continue to make new discoveries. We wouldn't expect anything less. Thanks for watching! What did you think about these amazing NASA discoveries? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!